pump game, you know, the type of battle they were running for you right from the beginning, but you know, the way they were able to show not just the offensive side of things, but defensive, especially when they're responding to down. What did you like from the, the effort on the defensive side of things? Well, I really liked our resilience and our grit in uh, certain situations in the puck battles and, and down the stretch. I thought we did a lot of good things um, that allowed us to win the hockey game where we we really buckled down and, and defended. And uh, maybe not people don't see us as a strong defensive team, but I think we are willing and we are capable. And these are great experiences for us to learn from that are able to do it against a really good hockey team on the road and um, killing penalties late. There's some lessons we got to learn. I thought we got a little careless with our sticks, took some unnecessary penalties. We had latent periods um, getting caught deep. Some little things that we can we can learn, but I really like I really like the tenacity down the stretch. From a coaching perspective, how does Maxie Mammon come in that he seemed to be flying? He didn't seem to miss a beat. Must have been nice to be able to see a guy do that. And and we've seen it all season long. Everyone has that. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> You know, it's we're we're kind of blessed with as many good players as we have, and Mams to, to come in and to play at that level was was pretty remarkable. Missing the time he has, we know what he can do. A little bit of a consistent issue with him, a little bit, but these are nights where you're like, wow! And so hopefully he can follow it up and keep growing. Yeah, and we we have so many different players that come in, and and um, it, it's a, again we talked about this many a times. It's it's a luxury to have but it's also difficult to keep everybody happy. And, and there's some selflessness that has gone on and hopefully it continues to go on. Jameson, Jameson Olive, FloridaPanthers.com. Bruno, uh, a big goal for tonight and also a lot of great work quarterback in the power plays. How impressed you've been with his kind of evolution as the, the, the quarterback on PP1 this season? Yeah, I think he's um, done an excellent job. I think right from last year, maybe playing a different position um, on on one of the sides or the flanks, and that was a little bit of a learning experience. I think it was really healthy for his hockey game, his whole offensive game to to learn. And a tribute to him, he he was open minded and and put the work in to be better at that position. And then this year, it's on top on the power play, and same thing. He's willing to learn. He wants to do it, um, and he seems to get better each and every game. Jordan McPherson, Miami Herald. Hey there, Bruno. Uh, Pittsburgh, that nine-second flurry where they tied up to the two. How would you like the response after that, get the power play goal, and then able to hold on after over the final stretch? Yeah, I think with this group, um, we're, we're mentally strong, and, and I didn't really even feel, feel it really affected us um, at different times over the years with this group. It has. This year, I thought we just – it was kind of a, a you know a face-off goal and a kind of a lucky bounce, and – um, hey, we're okay. And uh, that's how we responded. And, and next line up, do your job. And power play was a huge goal at a big time for us in that hockey game. George Richards, Florida Hockey Now. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, Bruno, I just wanted to ask you, you talked about the defense and, and the defense you've shown all year. How big a, a role does Radko Gudis play in that, the defensive side of things? Yeah, he plays a huge role, him and Forrest. Um, you know, with, with Goods, he's puts his body on the line every night and he'll do his will to win is, is un, unparalleled really. Um, and the, his will to, to do anything for his teammates, as we saw last night, it's, it's, um, it's who he is and we're really lucky to have him. It's, it seems like you've got such big names. You've got, you know, you know, some of those other guys kind of get lost in the shuffle a little bit, at least as far as the national narrative goes. We got a whole team that kind of gets lost in the shuffle and, uh, Anybody that watches us consistently would know that. Um, and it's, it's unfortunate, but hopefully we have to earn it. And we have to find a way to, to prove ourselves to everybody that, that we are aspiring to be not just good, we're aspiring to be a great team. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Thanks very much.